Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Villard. And Blake, what's up guys? How's it going? Last week of school, the last Monday of the school year. Five days left, four if you don't count today, but either way, it is the last week of school. Yes. Super stoked about that. We got some fun facts coming for you. We got some uh, funny, funny jokes, jokes coming for you. Yeah, some funny jokes. Uh, Blake? Knock, knock. Who's there? Hawaii. Hawaii who? Hawaii are you doing today? <laughs> that was a good one. Have a great day, guys. I'm kinda hungry. I think I'll eat some Skittles. Hey guys, it's me. I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna scare Blake and hopefully I'll make him scream. Let's see what happens. Well, that didn't work. And he got mad at me. Did you know that pufferfish can be up to four feet long? You want to see me make it ready? 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 Ah! Ah! Okay! Ah! Look, it was raining cats and dogs. So, raining animals is a rare meteorological occurrence where flightless animals fall from the sky. So animals that cannot fly fall out of the sky, like fish and frogs. No one knows why this happens, but the theory is that a water spout or a tornado kind of thing picks up these animals out of the water when it's going over a lake or the sea and then drops the water back down with the fish and the frogs. But there have been several occurrences where fish have fallen from the sky and frogs have fallen from the sky. Bruh. Why do ducks have web feet? To stomp out forest fires. Why do elephants have big feet? <laughs> to stomp out burning ducks. Bruh. When a student asks me if they can sharpen their pencil and I say yes, and then they spend 30 minutes sharpening their entire box of colored pencils, it makes me a little uncomfortable. To cook an egg on the sidewalk, it has to be 158 degrees. It was pretty hot today. Let's try it. Dad told me that you can fry an egg on the sidewalk if it was at 158 degrees. It's a pretty hot day today, so I'm gonna try it. Open it up. Okay. All right, we'll come back and check that out later. Three hours later. Whoa, it actually worked. That's amazing. I'm gonna go get some salt. Whoa, bruh. When my students can't wait until lunch and start sneaking hot Cheetos out of their desk into their mouth, it makes me a little uncomfortable. Did you know that 99% of people cannot make their tongue look like a three-leaf clover? Not only can I not do it, I look really ugly trying, bruh. When we're taking a test and I see a student looking at another student's paper, it makes me a little uncomfortable. Bro, did you hear the song about the tortilla? It was more of a rap. Kids, stay in school. Did you know that it's impossible to sneeze with your eyeballs open? I'm gonna try. So, I always thought that when you sneezed, you closed your eyes because if you didn't, your eyeballs would fall out but that is a myth that was actually uh, proven to be false by the Mythbusters. Um, 
I tried to sneeze right now on camera. I filmed myself for like five minutes. I could not make myself sneeze. So I guess I'll never know. But next time you have to sneeze, try and keep your eyes open. See if it's possible. When my daughter goes out in public wearing bunny ears, it makes me a little uncomfortable. Hey guys, five days left. Four if you don't count today. I count today. Five days left. Have a great day. You got this. Now it's time to play Crack the Egg. This is so hard. <laughs> 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 <laughs>